This is Shanti from Shanti TV. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have been out for several weeks for so many different reasons, including family medical issues and my medical issues. Uh, I have had a really bad outbreak of hives since June and no one can tell me why. Um, I finally went to the allergist last week and they have, uh, they're calling it this chronic hive syndrome that I have. They claim that it will go away. Uh, they don't know why people get this, but it's just something I have to manage. Uh, tough to hear, but uh, it is been very, very difficult on me. Um, it is all over my arms and legs and in some areas of my body, but it causes me to not really want to, you know, it's hot here guys. And I'm literally dressed in long sleeves. I normally wear pants just because it's, um, my dermatologist wants me to kind of stay out of the sun for now. So I, it's just been really tough. Um, my mom currently is in the hospital. She's going to be fine, but it's kind of crazy. My husband is going through some medical issues. So it's like everyone in my family, except for Priya is going through medical issues. And I pray that God keeps Priya safe. So, um, so it's been really, really difficult to come on and like do videos. I actually recorded two videos in the past couple of weeks, but have not put them out. Uh, and they're old now, but I'm considering maybe putting them out so you guys have some something to watch if you're interested. Please comment down below. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I know this is kind of a bit of an odd welcome, but I'm just letting you know this is life. Um, Last week I did get on an Instagram live. It was my first Instagram live and I did a interview with Phil John, who I have known since I was probably about four or five years old, which is kind of crazy. I went to grade school with Phil John. He is an actor. He is out of New York, New Jersey. And um, yeah, he did an interview with me on his um, show there on Instagram live. So that was fun. Uh, I, if I get a link to it, I will link it down below for those of you who might be interested in watching it. It was about an hour long and kind of went into some deep dive questions about my personal life and just YouTube and you know, how this all came about. Um, you will, you're going to see me wear a lot of like plain white things because of my skin issues at this moment. Um, it is what it is. I know this is like a fashion slash designer bag slash, I don't even know what this channel is anymore, but um, yeah, so that's where I'm at with fashion is I'm, you know, 48 years old and I've got medical issues that cause me to not wear different types of clothing. So here's where we are. Um, I am trying to keep my head up and my head above water. Uh, there are days where it is very, very difficult for me. Um, it's very hard when the people around you are not feeling well or they get a diagnosis that you don't want to hear. It is very, very difficult, but I am going to tell you this, that, um, I, you know, I do believe in God. I do believe in, uh, prayer and I, you know, I believe that all things work together for the good. Uh, and so ultimately that's my belief system and I have to put it into practice at the end of the day. Uh, this is life. This is, you know, you get crazy things thrown at you and I've had my fair share of crazy crap thrown at me in my lifetime. Maybe one day I can share some of those things, but I've been through a lot uh, in my 48 years of life. Uh, and so, yeah, that's how you gain wisdom anyway. Uh, but what I wanted to say is, I think it's very important that as I go through this, that I try my best to 
get dressed in the morning, put on my makeup, uh, put on my jewelry. Today I'm wearing my diamond earrings and uh, my necklace that I always wear. I also have something new that I wanted to share with you guys, which is this Roberto coin bangle that my husband recently bought me. I have on obviously my wedding band and my engagement ring. Um, I will talk more about the Roberto coin on a different date, but um, yeah, so I try as much to kind of get up out of bed uh, and live the life that I have versus living in being upset. Being upset is normal, uh, being angry is normal, but staying in that state of mind I think is, can be tough. Uh, on everybody and on your body. Uh, so I am trying, I am trying, I'm giving it my best to get up, get dressed, get my makeup on, do my hair, make myself feel as normal as possible even though it seems like my world is kind of crumbling around me. Um, so I wanted to tell you, I, w I went on a quick trip to Iowa to uh, be with my husband for his doctor's visit my but before that my bag of choice that i was wearing is this beautiful beautiful speedy uh b in the cognac color this brings me so much joy the color itself is just very beautiful um and so i have been wearing this this is the bag that i was wearing before i left for iowa um, when i came back i did switch into my other favorite bag. If you notice, I decided that I was going to try this bag back with its um, strap that it normally comes with. And so that's what I have on. This was sitting on my table uh, today and I was just looking at it, just the back of it. And I thought that is so beautiful. The gold hardware, the, um, you know, kind of Reese's Pieces uh, color of this monogram against the gold and the black. I was just really, really enjoying this. And also the um, gold hardware on this particular strap is just very shiny. It's very beautiful. I have not really worn this strap, so I just think that the extra gold, because I, I had my um, my other, my black strap from my Odan on here, Odin PM on here, and so that one doesn't have as much gold, but this has gold like around the, um, what do they call these, rivets? Around the rivets. Um, it has this beautiful shiny gold buckle here. Obviously it has the gold here. I don't know, something about it just struck me. I thought, gosh, that's a really, really pretty bag. So um, I switched into this just because I wanted some more organization. Um, I could put uh, an organizer in my Speedy 30, but I choose not to. Uh, yeah, so just wanted to share that with you. I was trying to think about what I was gonna talk about because it's kind of interesting to talk about things when you feel like your life is crumbling around you. But I figured that again, I, I, I'm going to just kind of share a couple of things that um, I have actually purchased. It's been a couple of months since I purchased them. One of them I recently purchased actually, um, but this other one I just purchased a couple of months ago and I wanted to share with you because um, why not? Why not? So today's video is going to be about uh, two brand new shoes that I bought from Tory Burch. I am looking at a third pair um, that I think is gonna be very comfortable. Um, and it's kind of funny because uh, these particular, the first pair of shoes that I bought from Tory Burch are a pair of shoes that I swore on my mother's life I would never ever wear. I thought, my God, these are so ugly. What is the deal? Why do people buy these? They're so ugly. And here I am. <laughs> I, I decided, okay, I'm going to try them. I am five feet tall, and recently when I went to the doctor, they had the nerve to tell me I was 4'11". Seriously, 4'11"? Am I shrinking? I could be, I don't know. But, um, I, so 
These are the dad sandal trend. The dad sandal trend has been going for many, many, many years now. And all of the brands have been doing them. And I have never really been a huge fan of them. I think they look great on other people, but I'm small, like my feet are narrow. You know, I just didn't think I could pull it off. Although I do have some chunky boots. I'm okay with chunky boots, but I felt like I maybe couldn't pull this off. But anyway, I wasn't ever ready to spend over a thousand dollars on shoes that I wasn't going to commit to. But I saw these, I walked in, happened to walk into Tory Burch at the mall and I saw these and immediately my eyes were drawn to them because they reminded me of Chanel. Uh, so they are the Kira, here they are. The Kira Sporty Sandal, it's called. Um, and I, my eyes were drawn to them because I was like, well, these are very Chanel-esque with the tweed. So I fell in love, number one, with the tweed. I love tweed. I think it's very classy. I think it's very elegant. And of course, it's, you know, an ode to Chanel. Chanel is like the queen of uh, tweed. And um, I just really, really liked this color tweed. I don't like all color tweed, but I really like this one. I thought it was a good neutral. Um, I like the Tory Burch. I'm gonna show you. I like the Tory Burch symbols that are on the side. I think those are really classy as well. So the buckles are in gold. Hello, hello, there we go. The bottom of the shoe is a black. Um, they are rubber on the bottom. I'm not sure if they are leather. Yeah, leather lined, rubber outsole. So they are uh, leather lined on the inside. They are pretty comfortable. I don't um, have any issues with that. I can tell you as I'm getting older, Comfort is becoming more and more of a thing. I could wear uncomfortable shoes when I was younger for periods of time, and now I just, I can't do it. It's, it's brutal. It's really, really brutal. So these are the Tory Burch Kira sandals. They were around $278. I will put a link down below if I can find them. I think there's a few left at Nordstrom in this style, and I think they are on sale. I apologize for not showing this sooner. Um, I did. I have had these for several months and I have worn them. I recently wore them um, to Iowa. They are a bit, you know, they're not the lightest shoe, but they're not like super heavy. Um, so just be aware of that. They are clunky on the feet, like, you know, because they're just big. They're big, they're thick. Um, but again, I like them. I get, have gotten a lot of compliments on them as well. So I did want to share this with you, um, because I think that they are super cute. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you guys like dad sandals? Like, is this a thing? I, again, I love seeing them on other people, but I just was not ready to take the leap. I think if you're looking for a shoe uh, that is very reminiscent of kind of these high-end designer, but you're not ready to take the plunge or you're like, you know what, I'm not interested in spending that much on shoes because at the end of the day, I'm going to wear them and, you know, wear them out and they're going to get dirty and all that business, then, you know, these might be for you. Another uh, designer, I won't call them a designer, but another brand that puts out, you know, shoes that are constantly, you know, they follow the trend is Zara. Zara puts out a lot of shoes. I have never bought any Zara shoes again because of where I am in my life. I really need comfortable shoes. I can't have shoes falling apart on me and I'm not saying Zara shoes fall apart. I don't know. I don't, I have never bought Zara shoes, but anytime I have tried on Zara shoes, they have not been that comfortable for my feet. And right now as I age, Comfort is very, very important. It's a very, I want to look 
good. I want to look cool, but I want to be comfortable. Um, and so that's where I'm at with these shoes. So, but Zara is another good option. Um, the other brand that I really, really like is Sam Edelman. Uh, I think Sam Edelman has some very, very comfortable shoes. Love Sam Edelman for, um, you know, a good quality shoe that is affordable. I think they do a very, very good job and I'm happy to wear low end and high end shoes uh, and have both of those in my closet. The next pair of shoes I got recently, as you can see, um, I actually ended up getting this from Zappos. Zappos, you know, has been really good about sending your shoes really, really fast. And I really love that about Zappos. They are kind of tied in with Amazon. So you kind of get the same type of delivery service that Amazon has, which honestly, let's, you know, <laughs> they have the best kind of delivery service available, I can say, in my area. Seriously. If I order something, I could potentially get it today or tomorrow, which is pr pretty crazy. Um, anyway, I ordered this from Zappos. Um, I actually initially ordered this from Saks Fifth Avenue. I ordered a five and a half because I had tried these on at the Tory Burch store and the five and a half seemed to be my size. By the way, I wanted to tell you, my normal size is a six. I ended up getting these in a five and a half. So, I had tried these on at the Tory Burch store in a six, felt it was too big, tried a five and a half, felt that that was the right size. So I ordered a five and a half from Saks. I opened the, I was so excited to open the box and inside the box was a pair of seven. I was so irritated. I sent it back. So I sent it back and ordered from Zappos. So let's open this shoe. This is called the uh, Capto Ballet Flat. Again, another no to Chanel. So it comes with a dust bag. And inside are these shoes that I ordered. So these are the beautiful Capto Ballet. You can see that they have the Tory Burch symbol right there. It has a beautiful bow here. These are made of goat leather. They are really, really soft. So <clears throat> the story on this is that I tried a five and a half in the store, felt that that would have been the right size. I ordered five and a half from Zappos. They were so tight, I couldn't do it. Ordered a six, this is the right size for me. I am normally a size six, I don't know what was going on in the store. The six felt too big and they didn't really have my size. So I was like trying on, I think a display and it was just too big. It wasn't too, too big, but it felt like it was coming off. And then I tried the five and a half and those seem okay. But I, so I don't, don't quote me on the sizing. I, I am going to tell you the size six is my right size in these shoes. I'm going to, just take this out. <clears throat> so it's black inside, black bottom, very, very Chanel-esque. These were $248, not cheap. I don't consider these cheap for what it is. If I'm spending $248, I better have the material and the quality for $248. Um, they are a leather sole on the bottom. This part is goat leather from what I understand. Made, looks like they, they are made fairly well. I am not a fan of shoes falling apart on you. I am walking through airports and various places, rain. I wouldn't wear these in the snow, but, but rain, sunshine, I need a shoe that is going to last me. So um, I hope these do. These come in a range of colors. They also come in the silver and black, which I thought was really cool. They had a red and black, um, which was also very cute. But I ended up getting this color. They also have a, like a pinky, more nudie color on the Tory Burch website. You can't find all the colors everywhere, so it's kind of interesting. The nude color was more of a cool tone uh, color. I did not get those because I already have a pair of heels that are more like that. I really wanted the tan and black, so I wasn't repeating what was in my closet. 
So these are the two. Let me get the other one out <clears throat> so you can see both. I have not worn these out yet. So they are brand spanking new. Really love them. I think, again, these are going to look good with just a white shirt and jeans. Comfy, cozy. Uh, L&M just recently, shout out to Jen at L&M. She recently put out uh, just a plain white shirt. It has like L&M on the side. I really would love to get that shirt. Those would look great with these shoes and a pair of jeans. Um, you could wear these with dresses. You can wear these with pants. For me, these are like casual date night. You know, you could wear these out on the town. Um, I, I think these are a nice pair to have in your closet than just to wear on a daily basis, honestly. They're, they're just, they're nice. So, wanted to show this to you guys. Um, what else did I want to show you? I'm going to show you one other thing that I wasn't going to show you today because most of my stuff I wanted to show you was Tory Burch, but I did pick up a pair of Sam Edelman again. It's a couple of months ago. I never showed it to you guys, but I wanted to show it to you because I feel like if you guys are looking for Lux for less, I think the options that I'm showing you are good options. I'll be right back. So these are the pair that I was talking about. These are Sam Edelman. Very, very comfortable. If you're, if you're wanting to get the look of that Hermes sandal, Hermes has a sandal like this. It was like all the rage. Saint Laurent has a pair that are like this, which I am still after. They have a cognac color that I want. They also have this shearling one that I've wanted since for a couple of years now at this point, but I've never pulled the trigger on them. Um, but if you're looking for a pair that's like that and you don't want to spend seven, eight hundred, nine hundred, eleven hundred dollars, and you're wanting to pay like about a hundred, these are it. And these, if they come out, so Sam Adelman puts these out in many, many different colors and styles. And if you buy one that's kind of off season, you can get them on sale and not even pay a hundred dollars. I find these are really good to just grab and go put them in your suitcase there. If you just want to, you know, be very casual. I have used them a lot. Actually this summer, they are a rubber sole, um, comfortable. I don't have any issues with this. Um, it has the little Sam Edelman logo on the side. It's not really wanting to, um, focus for me <laughs> when I get close for whatever reason. But, um, yeah, I think these are really, really cute, really comfortable highly highly recommend okay so those are the well those are the two shoes i definitely wanted to show you i threw the third pair in the sam edelman um again i think it's important to have high and low in your closet not you don't need to have designer everything in your closet as a matter of fact what i'm wearing right now is a dress that i bought from uh target <laughs> i think very early on in the summer, it's literally a white, long, uh, it's like a shirt dress. And um, it's very, very comfortable. It's cotton. The one thing that I would say about Target clothes, so I have a few pieces from Target. Like this shirt is good, but it wrinkles very easily. So that irritates me. The other thing is I bought recently bought like some sweats, which is in one of my videos, which I have not published yet. And the thing that irritates me about those is that, um, so they're like fleece. Nah, they're not like fleece, but they're fuzzy inside. Okay. And I wore them for the first time. And like the fuzzies are like coming out. I don't, I don't like that. Like when I, spend money on clothes. It doesn't matter whether I spend $20, $100, $500. I don't want my clothes to start falling apart or having issues like that. So that really irritates me. So spending my money, my hard earned money on things like that, I, I, I still, I still expect quality for what I'm buying. So 
a lot of times you guys will see on Instagram people are promoting like all these different things and they get me. They get me sometimes and that's how I went to go get that uh, jogging kind of set, which again is really cute, but as far as it being a long-term thing that's probably gonna sit in my closet for more than a year, I doubt it. I don't think it's actually going to make the wash that many times. I have a feeling it's just not gonna make it. Maybe I'll test it and see, it'll be interesting. Um, it's like the Target brand all in motion or something like that, but um, we'll see. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, and, and the other thing is you can get higher end or better quality products if you go to like Nordstrom Rack, Marshalls, um, TJ Maxx. Sometimes you can find online, you can find stuff, you can find things secondhand that are very well made but they last so much longer. Number one, it depends on how people take care of their clothes, right? Taking care of your clothes is a big part of it. But you can find things that actually last and I, I feel like I want more things in my closet, like less things in my closet, but more things that are better quality. Sometimes you need to buy just regular stuff so you can you know, if you're going to an amusement park, we don't need to be wearing like silk shirts and stuff like that, right? So that's perfectly fine. But sometimes, I don't know. I'm just, I hope, I need to stop laughing. That's what I need to do. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. But uh, like I said, it's been a rough, rough couple of weeks, couple of months. Uh, and I hope that you guys are all doing well. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really, really appreciate it and I hope that you truly enjoy my channel. I said it last week on uh, the Instagram Live, you know, um, Phil had asked me, well, what's next for, you know, the Shanti TV show? You know, he calls it my show, which I guess it is. Uh, and I said, you know, I would love to branch out, branch out and talk about other things. You know, it's not just designer uh, fashion that's important. I think aging needs to be talked about. I think women's health needs to be talked about and um, supporting uh, just getting older and the things that happen when you get older. And some of the things that I'm experiencing right now from a medical perspective are things that have to do with aging. I mean, you know, I am 48 years old and a lot of people my age are taking care of their parents and taking care of their kids so they call us kind of the sandwich generation and that is a big responsibility that some of us carry uh and it's you know something that maybe people don't really talk about maybe people are feeling the stress of it and they don't talk about it but there's a lot of stress with that because you feel like you are supporting everyone and you cannot even take a break that is a very tough feeling to have, you know? Um, and you always feel like you have to be strong and that's the person type of person that I am. So, but sometimes everybody needs a break, right? So anyway, that is why you have not seen me on YouTube for the past couple of weeks. I am still here. I still love doing my YouTube videos. I actually just recently upgraded, uh, to a new MacBook pro. Uh, I am so happy I got it. I got a faster processor, more memory, and so it should help me with my YouTube channel. And I very specifically bought it for YouTube and video editing because, again, I love doing this. Um, I, it is part of my creative outlet, so I will continue to do it for as long as I possibly can. And I hope that you get something out of it. I hope you enjoy coming back I uh, and I hope to continue to put out content week after week uh, and just bear with me guys, I'm here. If you guys wanna talk, I'm here. Uh, again, I hope you enjoy coming back. Uh, thank you uh, for returning. The new subscribers, welcome. Uh, and I will talk to you next week.